boy TJ Hines, better known as Mr. Flipper House. And right now uh, is June 2nd down here in the Bay Area, the Guru City of Real Estate Investing. And today is June 2nd, and I'm right at the start of a big mailing campaign well, that will actually be big by the end of the month. Uh, right here we have about 3,000 letters of something very small just to start out with for the beginning of the month. Uh, the, the topic of this video, guys, is how do you set up your mailing campaigns or your marketing campaigns to start getting your phone to ring it? Well, you can either use letters or postcards. Now, letters are going to cost you more per letter to mail out. There's uh, all kind of automation systems that you can use and services that you can pay for. Uh, I decide that uh, I want to kind of keep mine internally and give a chance uh, for these youngsters here an opportunity they can make some money and put some money in their pockets uh, for the summer. To the left of me, I have my son, uh, Trey Hines, and to the right of me is his cousin, better more like his brother, actually more of like my son, but uh, this is all family here, and these guys are actually in the process of folding the letters, uh, getting ready to label the letters with all these labels, uh, or I'm sorry, label the envelopes, stuff these letters and get them on out by at least uh, Thursday or Friday of this week. So what I wanted to tell you guys is don't get stuck in just doing, you know, just yellow letters or just postcards. You want to figure out, uh, you know, what kind of results that you can get from either mailing. Uh, postcards mailings may get you better results in different areas or yellow letters may get you different results in, or, or better results in different areas. You have to be willing to test though. Uh, at the end of the month, I should end up with about six to eight, six thousand to eight thousand mailers that are out there uh, in two different markets. Uh, one Atlanta, and the other one is Tampa, where my home base is. So, guys, you got to consistently, consistently market. Now, let me tell you how to market to your list, where you're not, you know, over bombarding the sellers with your mailings every month. If you have a couple different lists that you're working with, I suggest mail either postcards or letters to that one particular list, whether it's of absentee owners or whether it's a vacant iron, uh, whether it's a vacant free and clear uh, high equity or whether it's tax evictions. Or take any list that you want to mail and mail to it either uh, postcards or letters. And then you have another list. It may be an absentee owner's list, and, and you may have a tax evictions list. So you want to take that tax evictions list, okay, and mail uh, yellow letters to it, okay, for that month. Now, you want to give a month in between before you actually hit that same list again with another mailing. So let's say that you hit your tax eviction and your absentee owner's uh, list in June. Well, you don't want to hit that same list until July, August, okay? So you want to hit that list again, those same two lists in August, and you want to switch it up. So if you did tax evictions with, with postcards, then you want to do yellow letters. If you did absentee owners with yellow letters, then you want to do postcards for August, okay? So that way you can start tracking to see what your results are in those specific areas or the list that you're mailing to and how they're receiving your message. It's very key, guys. So, the thing is, you have to be mailing or you have to find some way to get your phone ringing. Uh, I love to outsource a, a lot of things in my business. Uh, of course, you know, I can't keep up with the amount of phone calls that come in, 8,000 mailers at the end of the month. You know, that's a job that I would have to take on myself. So I outsource that to my assistant, and she does a very, very good job of keeping all of my leads intact simply by using a Google Docs spreadsheet. So guys, get out there. Use this system of mailing that I'm talking to you about or teaching you about, and keep statistics and results from each list. Uh, down from what is your response rate using postcards or letters to that particular list. And then you want to hit that same list again every other month. Okay? 
all right, until you feel that you need to uh, upgrade that particular list with some new leads that may have come upon that may have come available uh, with that particular list that you are actually mailing. I know that this stuff can seem a little over bombarding to you as far as we talking about lists and how to get the mailings out. If you have any questions regarding this topic, please feel free to reach out to me at info at mrflipperhouse.com and I will try to answer your question uh, as soon as I can. Now I'm a very, very busy guy. If I don't get a, right to your question away, if I don't get to your question right away, uh, then, then just know that I'm one guy and I have multiple things that I'm doing at one time all of the time. But be sure uh, I will get back to you and, and let you know uh, whatever concern or answer whatever concern or question that you may have regarding how to get your marketing campaign out and how to set it up. Uh, do me another big favor. Click the button above me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm always giving out great t content just like this here uh, I'm doing in this video and uh, hopefully you can take what you've learned here implement it into your business where you can start getting some consistent results just as I'm doing in my business. This is your boy Mr. Flipper House, TJ Hines. I'm out of here. Do yourselves and me a favor. Get out there and find a way to flip some houses. Peace.